Guys, back in for another review. Big Tom. Damien. Today we're going to be doing the Spheroid V2 by Vapor Art. Mm. Yep, Vapor Art had another Vapor Art day um, at the beginning of the week, and I was lucky enough to pick up a Spheroid V2 and a Paps X 1.5. Now I've heard nothing but great things about the Spheroid, and I was always kind of put up, uh, put off by it because of the size. I, I do like a 22 mil mod, and therefore like a 22 mil or 23 mil atomizer, so to speak, to get that flush look. And I don't own many sort of, I don't really own any egos or any um, small 14500 mods. So therefore, I've always been a bit. Mm, I don't know if I. I want one because of the size and the look of it um, but since we get into the, the DNA box mods and things like that I've been a bit more uh, acceptable to smaller devices and I am really happy that I did buy this yes it is small yes it is thin you know um, but it is f unbelievable the flavor on it the vapor production is fantastic basically it kind of works how a cartomizer would work um, you have a filler material that they would use sort of like a, it's a filter that they would use in aquariums right and basically you drop your juice into that filter you uh, rebuild your wick at the base as if you would like a k or something like that and the, and the wick basically touches the filter material and it feeds the wick and the coil and therefore produces your vapour and your uh, flavour and it's absolutely stunning. Um, it's a 16 mil diameter, um, 45 mil um, length. It doesn't come with a drip tip, but it is a 510 connection, so pretty much any drip tip will fit with it. It's got a beautiful GP logo at the bottom. This one is in the brush finish. You can also get a polish finish. Um, serial number, uh, airflow at the bottom. It does have two airflow holes coming through the 510 connection at the bottom there. It's made of stainless steel, 316 grade, and it is a really well-built, well-machined atomizer, and uh, it's it's the flavour is stunning, um, and looks great on my copper mod. It's really nice. It still looks great on my uh, X1.5. Um, I really like that combination. I, w I wasn't too sure. Um, good news for people that do only like their 22 or 23 mil um, atomizers on their 22 or 23 mil mods. GP or Vapor R are bringing out the Heron, I believe it's called, and it is basically a 22 stroke 23 mil spheroid. Sweet. Right? So that's uh, meant to be coming out at some point um, early on in the new year. But um, yeah. The V2 Spheroid. There is a V3 sort of replacement kit um, for this. Basically on the base you have thumb screws, which you would find on a scrape. Um, and so then you connect your coil, you connect your wick, and you can just screw it down with your fingers. They do also have a replacement kit that they can replace that with your Phillips heads. So you can basically, if you're a fan of the screwdriver, then uh, you can use that and uh, instead of using your thumbs. But I actually like it as it is, you know, being a lazy and being a bit clumsy with a screwdriver. <laughs> What we'll do now is we'll go down to the table, I'll show you all the bits, I'll show you how to wick it, I'll show you how to put the filler in, and uh, then we'll come back and give you our thoughts. Cool. So here you have your Spheroid V2 from Vaporheart. Really dinky, beautiful looking little atomizer. 16mm um, diameter, 45mm in length. Um, it has the GP logo at the bottom base there. Turn it round. It also comes with a serial number on the back of the base there. 510 connection is uh, has four holes uh, allowing for airflow so uh, the airflow is through the 510 um, you don't actually have it through the bottom or anything like that so you will need to have something uh, that provides its airflow um, otherwise uh, on a mod that provides its airflow otherwise uh, it's going to be an extremely tight drawer um, yeah it's a beautiful little thing you get a uh, it's a bag of spares, you get your silica, 2 mil silica, you get some spare o-rings obviously for the um, base and for the cone top there and you get some 0.2 canthor wire to get you started. You also get some filler material which you will be wrapping around inside and you also get a GP fork which is for your base really, for removing your base nice and easily. It just fits in there nice and snug so that's quite cool. Okay. Um, in the top there you'll see that it's a 510 connection, it doesn't come with its own drip tip so you will have to provide your own drip tip or purchase yourself one when you get your spheroid but it does take pretty much any drip tip I've tried on it and looks quite nice with a scrape one. 
Inside there you have a uh, hexagon sort of uh, hole, basically it's about for a 2.5mm Allen key. So if you've got one lying about, it's quite nice and simple to unscrew the top cone unit and your post there for your filler. Remove your base. And there you have your base. Um, basically your positive and negative both with your air hole in the middle. Um, the posts are using thumb screws there, which I do particularly like because uh, I'm lazy. I can't be bothered to find a screwdriver half the time. Um, but you can get a V3 replacement kit um, where basically you can replace the posts with uh, Phillips screw heads and longer posts as well, um, which will give you a stronger throat hit, as it says. Um, the V3 replacement kit is only about 12 to 15 pounds. So if you're not a fan of the thumb screws, if you've got big chunky hands and you don't like using your hair or your fingers and you like to screw the things in, if you like a bit of screwing, then uh, yeah, you can get yourself the V3 replacement kit for this. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's get on with the build. Basically I'm going to use the recommended build um, and that's 2mm silica wrapped over leaving this nice loop at the end there with uh, four wraps of 0.2 canthor wire. Basically just put in between your posts like so. Wrap them around your first one, tighten that down and the same on the opposite side, tighten that down. Now you will want to then lift so that your coil is above your air hole. So just give them a nice little lift, like so. Okay, put it onto your mod. Let's check we're all uh, lighting up nice, as usual. And they're all lighting up a treat, which is really nice. Lovely. Okay, now I want to snip off the excess wire, as usual. There we go. Okay, so uh, that's the first step underway. The next step is you want to take your filler material, which is basically like a filter that you would get in uh, fish tanks. Uh, you can pick it up at pretty much any um, pet shop or sea uh, pets or something like that. You can get it online. Uh, they sell it on Amazon. There's Sarah Wall. There's lots of different companies that make this, but it's basically sort of like a, a filter wall. Um, and basically, you'll just get it. Wrap it around the post there, like so. So it's sort of like that. And then place your tube back on. Try and be careful not to get any on your threads. Get my little Allen key. And there we have that in there like so and it should look like that inside almost like a cartomizer yeah okay um, now what we want to do it's just I'm gonna put this over the top like so so that's basically how it's gonna be it's gonna sit inside the loop might be a little bit long so I might trim that just a bit because it only really needs to touch it so yeah, if you feel that's a little bit long, just give that a little trim, like so. It doesn't necessarily have to be looped. That looks perfect for me. What I want to do is take my juice, just give this a little, little bit of a juicing. See what vapour we get off that. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, and now you just basically want to fill your tube and make get some soaked into your wall, like you would a carto, exactly the same. And it does hold about 2.2 to 3 mil of juice, but you just give it basically so you're not properly soaking, so it just all sinks in. Uh, 
That should be plenty for now. Place your wicks inside. Like so. Mm. And take a vape. Stunning. It's as easy as that, really. Uh, very quick to do. Really good, good flavour and really lovely, lovely vapour production. It's stunning from that straight away. Mm. Gorgeous. All right, guys, so after looking at the expensive cartomizer, <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Really easy to make, as Damien is showing you, and great flavour. Great yeah. for hip, and that's what you want from it. Yeah, it does It, it does technically work how a cartomizer would work, using that filler material, which soaks up your juice, and then feeds your wick and coil. Um, but it will... This blows any sort of cartomizer taste and vapor production out of the window. Like I said, you can control your uh, resistance, you can coil it how you want it, um, and uh, it's, it's, it's stunning. Um, as, as far as expense goes, um, now this costs about 91 euros from Vapor Art, which works out about 75 quid. Um, Vapists will be stocking these, they do stock them, um, and they are at 78 quid on uh, Vapist. Yes, it's around the same price as a K-Fun Light Plus delivered, um, before delivery. Um, it, it, you get what you pay for. It's fantastically made. It is a beautiful vape. It is a stunning flavour. Um, and it's like blonde. And then, well, sh <laughs> shut up, Tom. As soon as you say things like that, I end up having me nice stuff cloned straight away. <laughs> I think it has been cloned. <laughs> <laughs> but um, not as in uh, fake. You know, I think there's obviously other atomizers out there that work in a similar fashion and a similar style as the spheroid, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, for the price, I mean, like you said, you know, it is a K-Fun light sort of price. Um, and it, does, it doesn't hold as much juice. This holds between about 2.2 to 3.2 mil of juice. Mm -hmm. um, still not bad. Still a good, if you're a heavy vapor, still half a day's juice before you do a little bit of a fill. If you're a light vapor, it'll get you through a day, mm. you know, so that's not a problem. The, the filter material is cheap and you can pick it up pretty much anywhere. I got mine from a local pet stop, uh, pet stop, pet shop. Um, you can use it, it's called sort of like Serra Wall or just a filter sort of a filler. Let me just grab some for you. Kind of looks like this, which is sort of like a spongy scoury paddy sort of stuff that you put inside it <laughs> nice and cheap nice and easy you get loads for your buck i mean that cost me about four quid so it's going to last me months you know and then using your sort of like your your standard sort of silica and your coils it's not a big deal um but flavor flavor is important to me mm. vapor production is important to me and this thing has it in spades it really is stunning you know i'm i'm over the moment but uh, i do i do like it i don't think it's the prettiest of atomizers but for what it does well why not and is there that. any actual atomizer that you do like uh, looks wise yeah Oh, I love the rose. I, like I, I love the rose. Oh, eh? But we're talking about the spheroid. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the mods for the win. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I'm over the moon with it. I've always wanted to try one. I'm really glad I've got one now. Um, you know, this, they're, they're really highly sought after, and they do the business. You know, mm. they may be a, a bit of money for for some of you out there, but at the end of the day, you know, if you've already got a K Funk Light Plus, um, and you want to try something a bit different, it's around the same price range and it's in the same league as that you know um, I mean it's really well built really well made and it tastes absolutely fantastic looks good on a box mod if you have your sort of your, your 14 500 mods it's going to be perfect on that like a piccolo or something similar mm. um, it's going to look absolutely flush and dainty it's, it's nice I'll give nice. it 10 for vapor and juice but I'm not giving it 10 for looks yeah <laughs> Yeah, for looks for me, I mean, it's, 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 it's very sleek, it's very one sort of style, it's really nice. You can get extras for it, there's a lot of extras you can get for vapor art stuff to sort of change the look and design of things. You could get yourself a polished tube for it, um, mm. you can get the nice drip tips, you could have got yourself, so because I've got the all brushed, you could have got yourself a polished one and then had a brush tube, you know, to really sort of accentuate your Paps X1.5 if you've got one, like me. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
so uh, you know, it's just there's some great bits and pieces you can get. You can get an upgrade kit for it. You can get the O-rings for it. You can get the spare screws for it. It's you know, it's one of them sort of companies that provides you everything, and that's really cool. So you, you do get you know quality service as well. Like I said, I ordered this on Monday, and it got to me on Wednesday from like Bulgaria. You know, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. You know, um, and I was I've got to do this as well. I was talking to a guy on UKV. Um, I think his, his, his name on UKV is Leper. I mean, it's actually L3PPA. So if you're watching, mate, is that meant to be Leper? <laughs> I don't know, but I've got to give a shout out to his daughter, Becky, I believe her name is. Um, she is six years old and watches these reviews. <laughs> so I got told. So I need to curb my language. So if there's been any swearing during this <laughs> video, I'm going to beep it. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching, darling. Please don't vape, okay? It's terrible for you. It's not terrible for you, but I mean, if you were a... Oh, God, I've really... Put <laughs> You know what I mean? Six years old, Lepa, what's the matter with you? And I've also got to give a shout out to Big Al. I was meant to give a shout out to him a couple of weeks ago and I forgot. Big Al, I'm a I'm sorry, I just beeped that word. Um, so, uh, yeah, but he was also waiting for his um, X 1.5 the same time as I was from Vapor Art, and we was basically egging each other on during UKV, and we both got them sort of at the same time. So uh, it was really cool sort of to get them that quick, you know. When you spend that sort of money, you want that thing straight away, and uh, it only took them a couple of days to deliver it. So nice one, Vapor Art, for your delivery. Uh, went right off the subject there, didn't I? So the spheroid, <laughs> V2, tastes f***ing fantastic. Beep. Uh, <laughs> You know, stop letting your six-year-olds watch our mo our videos. <laughs> Christ, go watch Todd or something. He's, he's a nice man. Do you know, he's got a nice little fluffy dog and a shed. We're a couple of <laughs> God, but a big shout out to those guys. Um, you know, it's been a great week. Um, I'm really loving this vapor art stuff. It's really well made, really well machined, um, but it does come with a hefty hefty price tag um but yeah so uh you know if you've got the money lying about get yourself a steroid because uh shit off. thank you very much for watching this review uh don't let your children watch them and uh we will see you on the next one stay safe <laughs>